Greetings, everybody. I am Lobo, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. Now, before we begin, you got anything for me, trainer? Commander? No. Great. That's what I like to hear. So, since we did spend a lot of time on our ship in the last episode, and on the Citadel the episode before that, I'm thinking we need to actually do something here now. Maybe... Priority Palavin. Primarch Fedorian of the Turian Hierarchy has called a war summit that presents an opportunity for the Alliance to request help building the Crucible. Unfortunately, Fedorian was caught in the Reaper attack on Palavin. Rescue the Turian Primarch from Palavin's moon. Let's do it. Conquered Systems Clusters already conquered by the Reapers can be accessed using the Normandy Stealth Drive. Search these clusters for survivors, salvage, and valuable intel. Interesting. The Reapers are making moves, aren't they? Yes, they are. Alright, we're probably not going to spend too much time in the galaxy map together, at least. But, uh, just be aware stuff is happening here. Search and Rescue. The Normandy is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel as you fly around a system. Be aware, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance that Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. If a Reaper enters the system you are in, flee and wait until you have completed a mission before returning. I don't like that. No. I don't think I like that one bit. This is the new, um, resource collection minigame. Gone are my days of leisurely collecting resources between episodes. Now we have a threat. How big is this pulse? Right, right here. Eh, I'll manage. Manet. Palavin's largest moon has been shrouded in secrecy since the dawn of the Tyrian space age. During the Krogan rebellions, the hierarchy classified nearly all data on Manet and its sister moon, Nanus, because they feared the Krogan could use the moons as weapons by smashing them into Palavin's surface. However, some information has leaked out. Images of Tyrian bases where personnel walk without Enviro suits indicate advanced infrastructure. Likely a network of subterranean tunnels with powerful mass effect field generators that retain heat and atmosphere over swaths of the surface. The Reaper's plans for bombarding the bases were met with fierce resistance by the Turian fleet and the Moon's anti-aerospace defenses. With their easy victory stalled, the Reapers deployed a variety of ground units to take the bases one at a time. The Turians have the advantage on the Moon, but the Reapers have the patience to slowly grind them down. With every base captured, the Reapers deny the Turian fleet another place to repair or refuel. friend there. Holy hell. They're getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch.
Clear the LZ, huh? We can do that. So it'll probably be a good idea to go ahead and get set up for this. I want my disruptor ammo. Vega's got his incendiary rounds and Liara's got her war. All right, you ready for this? Sorry for flagging there, Doc. Didn't mean to do that. Now keep in mind, we're not just killing everything that moves. That's a part of it. But we're also acquiring resources. So Vega? Keep your eyes open, Doc. I know you know the deal. Because Daddy needs a new set of weapons. That wasn't so bad. Hey, how you looking over here? They might talk to you without flagging you. That doesn't seem possible. Soldier, which way to your commanding officer? Straight ahead and around the corner, past the first barricade. Sounds good, sounds good. I'll make my way over there in just a minute. First though, I'm gonna secure the area. Make sure there's nothing over here I need. Holy crap, Palvin. They weren't kidding, the Reapers are decimating that place. Hold your fire, friendly about. Yeah, yeah, I'm chill, I'm good, I'm cool. I'm on your side. Oh my goodness. That's what the end of the world looks like at a distance. It's one thing to see it up close, see it on a small scale, but you zoom out. And that's something else. Ground report. Knowledge of the terrain is our only advantage here, and that's not going to last forever if they keep throwing their forces at us. We'll hold this area as long as we can. I'm linking my transponder to the life signal monitoring system of the unit suits. If it goes out, send another unit here ASAP. Uh, they're... Of course they are, of course they are. They're prepared to lay down their life for their planet. You would expect nothing less. There's the general. We'll talk to him in just a minute. I need to get myself together. And, uh tactically acquire any resources that these guys aren't going to miss. So you know what, I'm going to run the camp real quick. I'll be back with you guys in just a few. From Commander Hexnar, regarding supplies. They sent us winter gear. Not sure what they thought we'd do with that kind of gear up here, but I suppose we should thank the spirits nonetheless. The power sources can be cannibalized and converted to power our combat gear's filtering units instead, at least. Be nice not to have those clogging up anymore. I mean, yeah, yeah. You don't want your filters clogged up. That's a recipe for disaster. Yes, sir. All right. Well, I think that covers it. Let's go talk to the man in charge. Tabestic, get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Fardis, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard. Heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedoria. Primark Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy. Just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. 
He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. Time to go to work. I see the comm tower. To the left of the main barricade in front of Palavan. Let's go. Oh, we're gonna go, Vega. We're going. We're zipping through here. You know why? Because we're going slow. Therefore, we're going fast. Well, understand that? Let me explain. Hey, you watch my back while I'm out here, alright? Let me explain, Vega. Slow is smooth. Smooth is fast. So therefore, the slower we go, the faster we go. Now that may seem counterintuitive. Us at the tower. Overwhelmed us. Good luck. Yeah, you, you, why don't you get inside, man? You're all out here by yourself. It's not a good thing. I hear stuff. All right, Doc, Vega, hang out over here. I'm gonna clean up. Whatever makes it to this side. Or wait, are we even shooting at the same stuff, or are there just multiple paths? Uh huh. I mean, looking decent from right here. Just proceed with caution. Is this what we're after? We can't repair it from this panel. Doc, I'm gonna need you to step up to the plate. Cause no offense, Lieutenant Vega, but you seem about as technologically inclined as I am. Liara, see if you can repair it. I'll go up and have a look. If you can keep husks from climbing up behind me, I'd appreciate it. I'll do my best, Doc. Here they come. I make no promises. Hell yeah, let's take them. Come on, James. Shoot stuff. What? Come on, Vega. Shepard, I've repaired the tower's main satellite connection. I'm on my way down. Good work, Doc. General, do you read? The comp tower is now operational. Much appreciated, Commander. I'll contact Palavan Command. Let me know when you've got something. I'll help your men till I hear from you. Understood. Shepard up. I know I said I was going to help your men, but I could really use your men helping me too. Vega, what are yeah. you doing, man? Good job, Doc. Somebody's doing something. Somebody's doing amazing things. Guess who she is? Here's a hint. She's blue and she likes to punch stuff. She thinks I'm cute. It is a mess out there, sir. Yeah, you should pick up a weapon. Get out there. Get your hands dirty. It's fun. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Vicarian, sir. 
I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm... advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military, gets results, popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tatris, during the uprisings. His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the Rebels took. Then the Rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. What in the world? Uh, it was, it's good to have you back, Garrus. Anyway, before we get into this, I'm gonna give you, and myself, some presents. There you go, boys. Looking real nice. Jay, they... You breathing so hard? Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. You huffing and puffing? Adrenaline's better than oxygen any day. Uh, you know what? You need to work on that, Vega. I'm gonna sign you up for some altitude training once we're done with this place. You're wearing a helmet. You got your own self-contained atmosphere. I Me, mean, I'm out here just breathing the thin air. Training my lungs to extract that oxygen. Just me? Or those Reapers look like Turians? You're right. They do. The big Reaper? Or are we calling the little guys Reapers now? They're more like Turian husks. Doesn't matter what we call them. Just matters that we kill them. You can put that on a bumper sticker. Stick it on the back of Joker's seat. Good. Good, that's fortunate. It's also fortunate that these guys aren't dropping straight into the camp. They're, uh, dropping, you know, outside of it, a respectable distance away. Alright, you know the deal, guys. 
I'm gonna go look for some stuff. Bear back. I'm back. Shepard, come in. Go ahead. Still trying to raise the Primarch, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. If the Reapers breach it, we're done. I'm on it. On my way. Don't you worry your pretty little Turian face. I got this covered. Oh boy, do I got this covered. Give me this thing. Who wants some of this bad boy? Huh? You! Yeah, you like it, huh? Who else wants some of these? Just picking them off. Maybe I can do three at a time. Hey, you got yourself one too, James. Okay, come on. Who's next? It's fun for the whole family. Come on, I still got bullets left. Up. Here comes another wave. Bring them on. Where are you going? Yeah, like fish in a barrel. What? All human thing. Like fish in a barrel. No, you don't. What the world? Holy hell! What is that thing? Break yourself! <laughs> the dang Silverback Reaper! Ah, owie! What are you doing? We got bigger problems. Come on, Donkey Kong! Big, hey, get off me! Shepard, Corinthus here. What's the word on the Primarch? Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepard out. Garrus. Take me to the last place you saw Victus. Yeah. And tell me if you see anything cool. Like, what's this? That must be one of Garrus' mines. I gave him mines. Which means I probably shouldn't step on it. But you know, I'm a curious fella. Curious individual. You gotta field test your weaponry, right? How far? Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. Oh, we're gonna find trouble. That's what we do. I'm an expert at finding trouble, if nothing else. I'd be better at finding other stuff if y'all would help, though. You know? Because I don't want to over-exaggerate it. Look at Palavin. That blaze of orange. The big one. That's where I was born. That's rough. Still have family there? My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. You're putting up a good fight. For now. But how long does it take before the fight's kicked out of you? If they'd only listened to your warnings about the Reapers, we might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. Yeah, where'd you run off to, Vicarian? There you are. Yeah, as I was saying, I don't think I can overstate this. This is probably, definitely, 100% the most important mission we've ever funded. And I can't fund it alone. I'm gonna need you guys to look out for any scrap we can salvage, any resources we can acquire. It's all hands on deck for this one. But I'm just one man. One man with only two hands. We should have a Hanner on the team. They got lots of hands. Got more back here. Get him! Shit, I hate those things. And New York is crawling with the creepy bastards? Uh, I never should have left Earth. 
It's gonna be bad all over. You're on my head. Leaving the fight just pisses me off. But you're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice and some board. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. Yeah, we signed up to fight, but sometimes we gotta talk, we gotta coordinate. Or else we're gonna lose that fight. Oh dang. See, things aren't going well for you here. Soldier, you okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago. Yourself. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. Hey, listen, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take all your stuff here. If I could give it back to you, I would. I know you're treating a patient. I just see stuff, I take it. We talked about this. Maybe he's got stuff in his high pack. That's a possibility. Commander, how many troops in that crash? 50? 75? Not sure. Sounds right. Hard to see a beautiful ship like that go down. Not to mention the men serving on her. Yeah. Yeah. We should go. They said the Primarch was headed south. Right. So which way is south? Which way? Holy crap. That was a little closer than I'd like. I'll say. Hey, can we uh check on anybody here? No survivors. Damn it. Crash like that, it's not surprising. Well, I mean, we'd even look. Can't just assume that nobody made it. How would you feel? If you went down like that, and nobody even stopped to check. Sitting there, your legs on fire, see people walking past. Oh, looks like nobody made it. That ain't right. So loco, you really think this summit will work? I mean, a sorry? Salarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Salarians came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. Oh, that is something to brag about, James. You know, I fought with the Krogan or two myself. And I don't mean to brag, but I do. I do actually mean to brag. One of my best friends is a Krogan. He's kind of running things on Tuchunka right now. Good fella by the name of Rex. And you know, I'm also kind of the the pappy to another Krogan. Good fella. Good kid, growing up nice. His name's Grunt. You know, also, I should probably mention, in case you haven't read it in my file, I am a Krogan battle master myself. That sounds bad! Okay, double time. No Reapers taking this Primarch from me. Right behind you! But yeah, look it up. It's in my file. Put little rainbow stickers around it. Proud of it. Oh, yeah, here we go. No plan of attack. Just attack. Ow. Ow, ow. Move into the compound. Moving. Right behind you. Yeah. All right, guys, keep your eyes open. There could be good stuff around here. There is good stuff. Hello? I don't know how to work the good stuff. I am unfamiliar with this particular weapon system. But we'll just change back to this for the time being. Come on out. This is the stuff I want. That's more like it. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh! I turned my back for one second. 
But the tide's turning. Turn up the heat. How'd y'all let this happen? Man can't even collect resources in the middle of a gunfight. Without looking up and seeing the battlefield's been turned into Donkey Kong Country. My goodness. Hey, Turians, let me ask you a question. What exactly are y'all shooting at right now? Because, uh, hey, you watch your fire. I get shot enough by the bad guys. General Victus. Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. A uh, commander, I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian Hierarchy. Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is... deceptive. It can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. Listen, it sounds like you don't want the job, which means you're perfect for it. Don't need any more politicians. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah, I don't know, Garrus. But I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. Sorry, have been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. 
Goodbye. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. Thank you, trainer. You want me to break the bad news to Hackett? Dang it. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit Arcturus Station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the Sol system. Earth didn't stand a chance. Sending us to the Mars Archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed the entire second fleet to provide cover for the third and the fifth to retreat. Hell, I presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. Well, look at the bright side, sir. If we lose this war, nobody will remember. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. I'm flattered, but the Normandy's just one ship. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. It's an advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't forgotten. So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. How long can we keep that up? As long as it takes. The reality is, Shepard, everything I'm doing is a delaying action for you. I'm buying us time, keeping us in the game while you gather what we need for this Prothean device. So keep at it. Well, of course, sir. Speaking of... Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? The R appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's going to be a hell of a thing to try and build. Do you think it's risky? building something like this when we don't even know what it does? To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me, but the Reapers have forced our hand. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. They sure did. It was reckless and brought us into a more dangerous age. Any updates on Cerberus? There's still the wild card here. Hitting the archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. It didn't seem as if the elusive man was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. You'd think we'd be on the same side, now more than ever. Cerberus has never played by the rules as we know them. I don't know what their agenda is, but it has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. The elusive man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. He's wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Well, that is going to do it for us today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to hit that little thumbs up button. That would mean a whole lot to me. And if you want to see more of Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition, please remember to subscribe. But as always, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I deeply appreciate it. And until next time, I am Lobo, and I will see you guys later.